welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you how to create a story in Scratch and how to create a play button in Scratch. So let's get started. Now here I'm on my screen right there. Now first I'm going to be telling you how to create a play button. But we need to know what is a play button. So for example, on your mobile, you're playing a game. So you click on that app, and the first slide you see is the introduction slide. And on that slide, there's a button known as play or start. And when you click on that pl play button, you're in the game, right? So we are going to be making that slide and that button. So let's get started. Here we are. First, we are going to be making the backdrop. So I'm going to go and paint a backdrop, convert it to bitmap, and take the fill tool and fill it. Now, I'm going to be doing a gradient effect. You can do whatever you want. It's mostly related to what you're making, but right now I'm just giving an example, so that's why I'm putting in gradient effect. I've already chosen two colors, so that's why I'm just going to paste them like that. Now I'm going to convert it to Victor and type the heading of what I'm making. Right now I'm giving an example, so I'm just going to write this, okay? So I'm going to change the color and the font. And now here I'm going to be writing how, okay. How to create a play button. Okay, I've just put a heading here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so everybody can see it properly. Perfect. Now, we're going to be making the sprite, which will be the play button. So I'm going to paint a sprite now. Okay, so I'm going to be taking the Rectangle Tool Maker and make a rectangle. And now I'm going to be filling it with a solid color. So it didn't, you know, clash. The colors don't clash. It's going to take this color. No, that's too much. Uh, pink. I'll just take this because it's bold so you all can see. Now. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking text and writing start or play. It's your choice. You can write anything. I'm going to write play right now. Play. And I'm going to make it bigger, of course. Perfect. Okay. It's going to make it a little bit like here. Okay. And now I'm going to make two costumes of it. So everyone who is playing my game or whatever I'm making, you'll know that I have selected the play button or I've unselected it. So that's why I'm going to write these costume names as selected and unselected when I'm done. So in the costume number two, I'm going to change the color of the play button. I'm going to take this color. Okay, that's too much. Uh, let's take this one. Okay, now I have two colors. And now I'm going to write here, unselected and selected. Perfect. So you all will know that when it's unselected and selected. Now, as we are done with the art of the play button and the introduction slide, now we are going to code it. So let's get started. Now, from the event section, I'm going to be taking when flat clicked. Okay. Now, I'm going to be taking switch costume to selected and switch backdrop to backdrop number one. Because this is backdrop number one, right? And I always want when the flag is clicked, the play button's costume should be selected. Or, sorry, unselected. Sorry about that. So, it should not be selected always because, like, the person should select it when the mouse is touched. So, that's why. I always want it to be unselected and the backdrop number should always be one. Okay? Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting the size of the sprite, which is the play button, as 100. 
I'm just gonna write the here play button. So you'll know that this is the play button, okay? Set size 200. And I'm gonna put a show costume right here. This is the show. And now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking Ven Facklight. Now we're gonna put some effects in it, okay? So I'm gonna put a forever loop or block, whatever you call it, and an if then else block. Okay? And I'm gonna wrap it with an if block. Lots of ifs, I know. Now, in this first if, we are gonna be writing, we're gonna be writing a operator. We're just gonna take this equals to operator. And on look section, we're gonna be taking the backdrop number equals to one. If the backdrop number equals to one, then only this program or this code will work or else this code won't okay and in the second if here i'm gonna be writing if touching the mouse pointer because i want this sprite to be touched with the mouse pointer only then this code should work or the effects don't work on their own you know so that's why okay now i'm gonna write here switch costume to set it or else switch costume to unsect. If someone is touching my uh, play button with its mouse pointer, it should see the color as selected. I want it, I want the uh, block should be selected. But if it's not touching with the mouse pointer, then it should be unselected. Okay? Now what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm now I'm gonna put some effects in it. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm going to be taking okay, here, I'm going to write, I'm going to take an if block from the control section and I'm going to put it in the if part here. Okay. So now I'm just going to be taking the, this sign here and I'm going to put it 111 in here. If the size equals, the, if the size is smaller than 111. So I'm just going to put the size block here. Size, if the size is not 111, like not bigger than 111, then I'm going to change the size by two okay if it's smaller than 111 so it's going to change the size by two and then i'm going to take one more if and here i'm going to put if the size is less than is bigger than 100 okay so now i'm just going to take one more size 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 and after this code, we're gonna be doing our dance because we always do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna write here, change size. Change size, change size, change size, okay. Uh, change size, it's up here. Minus two. So now, it's gonna clash into each other, right? Because it's gonna like, you know, it will be at once when this like code will be working, it's gonna work at once and it's gonna clash inside them. So it's gonna make in code. So like that. See? It's making like an effect so it's like coming up and coming down, coming and up, and it's going selected and selected, selected and selected. Like this. So this was a, a like the effect I wanted. So it looks you know more beautiful. So this is the uh effect I was talking about, okay? Now let's do our dance. Today, as we have made a play button, not really done on all the code, we have one more code left, but as we are like a little bit done with that, let's start with the dance, dance. We have made half of the play button's code. Play button's code. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, dance with me. Da da play button play button we are making the play button play button play button making making the play button okay I can do much more better dance with that like I can do much better dance like that but 
I'm just making it funny. <laughs> so, yeah. Because I'm doing fun learning here, so that's why. I'm just going to take Vendor Sprite Plate. Because now this code will do the thing I really want it to do. What, do, what does the play button do? When it's clicked, it goes to the game or whatever we are making, right? So that code will take us to the game or whatever we are making. So I'm going to take one more backdrop. I'm just going to take this uh, bench one, okay? Random, okay? So I'm just going to take this. And now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take when the sprite clicked, switch backdrop, okay? Switch backdrop to backdrop number one. Oh, sorry. The bench one, bench with view one, and hide it. So we're just going to hide it. And if you like make the... Here, I'm just giving an example to you. So that's why I'm not gonna put a broadcast block here. But if I had more like sprites here or anything else, I would have put the broadcast message. So everyone know that, you know, because nothing is here to receive my broadcast, right? So that's why when I'm gonna be showing you the story that I made, there I have used a broadcast message also here. So, you know, Goes the, so it receives to everyone and everyone everyone gets ready to start the game or whatever like that. That's why I'm not putting a broadcast message here though. But when we're making something like when you will be making something there, you have to put something here. Okay, you have put uh, you have, when you're like uh, sprites here, you have to put a broadcast message. And I just want to tell if you have any problems or like with the video or you're not understanding something you can comment down below and i'll try to answer you okay let's get started let's see and it's when i'm just touching it lightly not clicking on it so it's like telling me the effect here effect -t -t. and now i'm just gonna click on it and we are on the bench and the play button is gone because i put a hide button here just like that we have done the code of the play button now let's get started with the story okay and i'm gonna be sharing these all on my username on uh the what scratch 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 okay so my uh username is tech girl through the four so you can also follow me there because i post most of the project that i don't share in the videos i post them there and i've also posted the music project there where it which is the, like a small project where i put a music there so you can see that out also and i put some small small projects there that could help you so you can go and follow me there and make remixes of things so i can like them and comment so yeah, I'm gonna go on my my stuff and I'm gonna take the story that I made. Okay. Here we go. Now first I'm just gonna show you the story. The lost dogs. I've put the slide here and this is the start button I've put. Okay, so it's just going with it with its effect and I'm gonna click on it. Whoa, whoa, Bingo, wait, don't run, silly dog. Oh, no, where are you, Bingo? Bingo, come out. Bingo, Bingo. Oh, no. Oh, here you are. Oh, you have a friend. Nice. I think he's lost. Stuart, here you are, silly dog. Oh, who is this doggy? Hello, is this your doggy? Yeah, it is. His name is Bingo. I think they're friends. Yes. Me too. Well, want to hang out? Sure. Just like this, my dog and I got friends. Like that. And now, I've also put a thank you slide here. So it looks fancy. And the story is done. So now I'm just going to tell you the whole code. Woohoo. So I'm going to start with the star button. And here you see I've broadcasted the message. Because I have sprites here. And I'm not making an example. So that's why. So you can broadcast anything you want. You can type anything you want. So I just got let's get started. I just thought of that and I made that. Okay. So I have the same code here. I just put a go to one here. So it like, you know, has its place there because I was just giving an example that time. So I didn't put a go to one. Okay. So yeah, that's 
all of it. And I'm just gonna start with the Kia, which is the main costume or sprite, okay? And I'm just gonna take, when I receive, let's get started. She should show, and she will say, whoa, whoa, bingo, wait, don't run silly dog for three seconds, okay? And then she's gonna broadcast hide, hide. When she's going to broadcasting hide, hide, his dog will receive it. When I receive hide, hide, and then she'll hide. And when I'll receive let's get started, then she'll show. show and here in when flag clicked, and the, when the flag will be clicked, then it's going to be hidden. Okay? Here also the when flag clicked, it's going to be hidden. Okay? Now it's going to switch the costume to Kia C. So it's like walking. Kia is it's gonna walk because the costume Kia C is like a walking one, like this. Now if she'll be going to 161 and 6, minus 6, and then I'm gonna be switching the background to playing field. And I'm switching the background so it looks like she's you know wandering everywhere for his dog. For her dog, sorry. And here it's gonna write say bingo bingo oh no for three seconds. And then she's gonna go there, she's gonna go there, switch back to the wall number two, and then broadcast come out. When she's gonna broadcast come out, this dog will receive it and say, show, okay? And this dog two person, then it's gonna come, when I receive come out, then only he will show, or else he won't, okay? Now, it's gonna say, oh, here you are. Oh, you have a friend, nice, because this is a friend for five seconds. And then she's, uh, then she's gonna be saying, I think she's lost for two seconds. And then she's gonna broadcast lost. Then she's gonna be broadcasting lost. This girl, Lily, will receive it and say, show. she's gonna show and say, Stuart, here you are, silly dog. Oh, who is this doggy? Oh, hello, is this your doggy? And she's gonna broadcast yours. I told you a lot of broadcasting here. And then, when she's gonna receive yours, she's gonna say, yeah, it is. His name is Bingo for two seconds. I think they're friends for two seconds. And then broadcast friends and wait. And then she's gonna, when she's gonna receive friends, she's gonna say, yes, me too. We'll wanna hang out for three seconds. And then she's gonna broadcast yes and wait. And when she's going to receive yes, I just written yes because I know she's going to say yes because I'm making a story, so that's why. So here I'm going to write, say sure for two seconds. And then she's going to switch backdrop to Colorful City. And then she's going to say, just like this, my dog and I got friends for five seconds. And then she's going to broadcast thanks. And when she's going to broadcast thanks, the backdrop will receive it and say switch backdrop to backdrop number two, which is thank you. Okay, so I put a lot of broadcasting here because, you know, when you're making a big story and there's a sprite which is coming at the end, you know, you can do, do two things. You can make a broadcast or you can take eight seconds. And like Lily came at the last, most of the last of the story. So to calculate that much seconds and then type them, and then put wait for that much time. So you have to calculate a lot. Then make wait wait one. Then if you're taking the wait second one, you have to calculate a lot. So if you want to go easy, you can just take broadcasts. Okay. Now these were some example. This was an example for a story. I hope you liked my video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and like the video. I'm gonna be seeing you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.